Hey everyone, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome to the start of a brand new series here today on the channel. We're going to be checking out AFL 23. We're going to be doing a management career mode as my team, the Brisbane Lions. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. All right, so let's get stuck into the settings. We're going to be playing on the hardest match difficulty because why would you play anything else? <laughs> contract negotiations I think we'll keep that on medium same with trade negotiations we'll keep the salary cap well capped we'll go for 3.5 uh, quarter lengths keep the injuries on and let's uh, continue on I suppose so the main objective of this series is to try and win a premiership try and win a flag with this list I would say the objectives for this season we want to try and make the grand final at least we're a top four side for that wise I want to try and make top four um, but a minor premiership would be pretty decent as well we've got a really strong list it's arguably one of the best um, particularly in the game and in real life it's a top four team and yeah I would say if we finish fourth and we get a prelim I'd probably nearly consider this first season a failure so here are some of the players. We've got the upcoming drafts that we could potentially snatch some players in. And I would love to do three premierships back-to-back -back like Brisbane in the early 2000s. So first up, we have a match against Collingwood in the pre-friendly season. So that's going to be massive at the Gabba. And then we have Port Adelaide on in the first Round. So this will be a really big test for us because obviously Collingwood, huge rivals. They don't have the best um, performances at the Gabba. So that's good for us. We're at home. Here is the team. Um, I'm just sort of keen to sort of um, let the AI sort of take the reins on this one. I don't really want to be tinkering with the list just yet until I really need to. Um, I'm curious to see if just like the auto list is, is good enough. We've got a bunch of fantastic players. Our forward line is fantastic. Our defense as well. And uh, our forward line is pretty decent as well. So there is a, a, a couple of interesting sort of list changes you can do. You can change to like a tall forward line or a small forward line. Um, but at the moment, I think we'll just keep it at default. And if I see any glaring issues with our forward or defense, we'll jump on in. So at home, um, 3.5, there's Darcy Moore. Oh, here are some of the available kits that we can go with. Oh, that's so cool. Um, we'll go with the home kit and... Let's uh, continue on, shall we? Brisbane Lions v Collingwood. This is going to be a really big test to see where we match up against a flag favourite. And also, never played this game before. Uh, I've only seen other content creators' uh, gameplay. So I'm eager to learn. We might need to put down the difficulty, um, but we'll see if we go. I've heard it's like AFL Evo 2. So if it's anything like that, I should be able to get the... Um, ball rolling soon and if it's easier we might need to up the difficulty but this is going to be a really big test I think playing as Brisbane one of the top sides in the comp playing on the hardest difficulty is sort of natural if you're playing as Hawthorne maybe North Melbourne teams lower down the list maybe you can drop the difficulty but here we go the Brisbane Lions my boys at the Gabba with uh, the first match of the pre-season against Collingwood I want a nice, clean game. Oh, wow. Some of these cinematic shots look absolutely fantastic. And hopefully, we can put the pies down in the mud. It's a nice, clear day at the Gabba. Lucky Neil getting up there with Darcy Moore. The coin toss is now flipped. Queen Elizabeth on the coin. And Collingwood call tails. Brisbane win the toss. We're going to go to the right. We're going to go forward. Always forward. Good job, Lucky. All right, that's a really good omen for us. Brisbane win the toss. And now we have to really go for this one. We're playing with our first starting lineup. I'd be curious to see if Collingwood potentially will rotate theirs. And, yeah, will this be indicative of facing Collingwood potentially further on in the season? We're about to have the ball up. The big O, McAnooney. In the ruck as well. He's about to get up and under it. Ball up. 
Big O smacks it forward. Is that Berry? I think it is. Nice little flick on to Zorko. Oh, okay. Just outside the 50 plays on short. Okay, I tried to find a target there in the forward 50, but it wasn't to be. Interesting mark there. Collingwood on the rebound. Rich hunting. A little bit outnumbered here, the Lions. Collingwood go forward. Oh, we give away a sloppy mark. I don't know what's going on with them, but they've managed to hit the sideline. Again, they should have just gone forward. And we have a throw in. Come on. Need to get a goal early. Collingwood win the ruck contest. McCluggage goes to ground and drops him like a sack of spuds. Ball up now. Oh, nice little tap on. Berry again. Chips it forward. Floating ball to Danaher. He's got opportunities in the pocket. I can't seem to find a target. All right. Like handballs, I need to sort of power up as well. I need to like aim a bit more. Oh, wow. What was that? A little bit of pressure there. Collingwood chipping it around there. D50. Oh, what an... Oh, I thought that was an interception there. Bailey looking to get under it. Interesting ball. Collingwood. Cool, calm and collected. Trying to get it out from the back. Going to the left wing now. Ball in. Oh, great interception there by Starcevic. Looking to bring it in. Mm. Can't seem to find a target here, Brisbane. And Collingwood go forward. Oh, thankfully, we've got some space here. And let's try and hit it and go. Ainsworth at the back. Drills it to Rayner. He's got options now. Plays on quickly. Finds Zorko with a great grab. And I'm going to go back and try and slot this one. Zorko should have the distance. He sets up. Zorko bombs it forward. Oh, never fear. Zorko is here. And my first goal is uh, claimed by the captain. Nice. What a great goal. Absolutely puts his laces through it as well. And we finally get the first goal. Ball up again. McInerney wins the ruck contest. Barry is gobbling up these balls. And Zorko again. No. I oh, couldn't take the mark. Ball back in now. Rayner gets the intercept. Looking for more targets. Oh. How Zorko mustered him off there. Oh, that's terrible. How do you not get that up and over? Oh, you gotta be joking, ref. All right. Rich comes forward. Oh, I, I, I'm still getting used to handballs. <laughs> That's a massive stuff up for me. Oh, no! What? What is the... Uh, I guess you have to be like really... You have sort of have to wait a little bit and really get the handball targets off. Oh, that's something shocking. We've given away a goal to Collingwood there. Oh, and it's the traitor. McStay, get out of here with that. Get stuck into him, boys. You can't be allowing him to do that. Obviously, back in his old stomping ground. All right. That's all tied up. Pretty close, this one. Dude, Barry. Oh, brilliant stuff. And Zorko's going to have another opportunity for his second for a set shot. I do like this low angle here. Zorko. Can he get the lines back in front? Puts his laces through it. Oh, that is beautiful. And once again... Never fear, Zorkovic. <laughs> Zorko. Zorkovic is here. <laughs> oh, you beauty. The Aussie with the Croatian background. Love it. And we go again. Good handball. Oh, can't get it out. Collingwood handball forward. Chip it forward as well. Oh, no. We've given up sloppily. But they've handballed as well. They've drilled it quickly. And they get one back. Ping pong at the moment. Super tight for this match. It is... Two goals. Zip. Probably going into quarter time. All right. Still getting sort of the rhythm of this. McInerney in the ruck, though, is dominating. Berry is such a great recycler of the football there. He is. That's going to the wing. Whoa. Lockie Neal with the super glide. That's not it. Oh, okay. I was going to say that's nearly deliberate there. Yeah, I'm still getting sort of used to the, to the directional sort of stuff. But hey, this is a preseason. First match I've ever played on AFL 23. I nearly called it Evo 2 there. Um, 
And on the hardest difficulty, we're learning. We're learning how the AI reacts. But um, I'd nearly recommend playing on the lower difficulties if you haven't really played uh, the AFL games before. Haven't really played AFL Evo 2. And work your way up, see what the AI does. That's not... <laughs> Who's this? That's not Chris Fagan. <laughs> um, okay, that sort of bamboozled me a bit. But we're going to the second quarter now, all tied up at the Gabba. We go again. All right, McInerney. Great. Palm off Lions now back into the side. Back from his injury. Joe Danaher picks it up. Haven't seen much of him or Jack Gunston. Holding the ball in the end. Colin, we get it out quite quickly, though. I wish there was player names on top because I could see everyone. Because I can't recognize everyone from this view exactly. Only my players, of course. Zorko with another grab there. He could go for his third here. If he kicks this, it's going to be kind of absurd. Like, he's a good kick, but I don't know if he's, like, this accurate from a set shot from that. Oh, my. Zorko picks up a hat-trick of goals. This guy is cheat code from the forward 50. Bangs it home and puts the Brisbane Lions back in front. We go again. McInerney. Oh, really great touch. Charlie Cameron. Uh, there was a lot of options there, but we literally just gave it right to him. Oh, what an intercept mark here as well. But so far, it's very much... What is that? That was terrible. It's very much like kick-to-kick -kick, um, type of football, this game. I don't know if I necessarily like it. I can see teams like Geelong, they like to play that slow, boring football. Um, I already can really tell they're probably going to be really, really good on this game. But it's just so hard to make a AFL game. Like, the game is so dynamic to actually, like, I would say it's probably one of the hardest games to replicate in a sim. But so far, graphics look good. Really enjoying it at the moment. But it doesn't feel like that sort of free-flowing football. I might need to go into the settings. Like, there's not really a bunch of play plays on. It seems like the best tactics is sort of chip it around. And Zorko is just absolutely smashing these from the 50. That's number four. How's he gone and done that? He's such a good set shot. Set shots seem to be pretty easy as well, but they always sort of were. All right, so we've got a little bit of breathing room here, and the big O wins another ball. We're just going straight down the middle. Cameron looking to try and find a target. Zorko in the forward 50 now. Is this a bug? <laughs> this is going to be number five. It's not like... Like, he was ha he's sniffing around the... Around about the 50 meter mark. Oh, wow. And now he's, like, nearly full forward, and he somehow got onto it. Five goals for Zorko. Unbelievable scenes here at the Gabba. Big O winning it again. I'm, I'm sort of getting a bit of a feel for the rucks now. Oh, my God. Lions. Oh, I think that's probably holding the ball. Yeah. Charging forward there with a little bit of the super glide. And Colin would look a little bit shell-shocked. Already, I'm kind of feeling like once you get a couple goals under your belt, it kind of gives the team momentum, kind of like FIFA. Like, the more shots you have on target, target, the more um, possessions and stuff you go forward with, it seems like the team builds morale and sort of confidence, while the other one seems to be sapping a bit. All right, just got it out. McInerney trying to pick it up. Um, that's a pound ball. Come on. Yeah, and just go. I just feel like drilling it forward straight down the middle seems to be working, except for right there. But uh, stay tuned for episode two, coming out soon, of course. And let me know other AFL teams you'd like me to do. Uh, so far, what is Dunkley doing? Okay. I thought he was still going to play on there. Interesting ball in. Um, oh, good mark by Lions this time. But definitely want to be doing a bunch of AFL content over the coming... Weeks and months. All right, Jack Gunston with an opportunity here now. Former Hawthorne lad on an angle. I'm going to try the drop punt and try someone else and see how we go. Oh, he's hit that a little bit awkwardly there. Fizzes to the right there. Never really looked like it was going to come off. Okay, so looks like the plan of attack. All right, game plan. Chris Fagan just says, um, give the ball to Zorko. <laughs> Get it, just get it to Zorko. Oh, wow. Who was that? Gunston won it there, though. Zorko. Oh, opportunity. We go into halftime. Still relatively close. Um, I feel like Collingwood 
could come back in this one unless we don't start outscoring them. But it looked quite close in that first quarter. But the boys are in the changing room now. And Darcy Fort looking a little bit furious. All right, let's get stuck into the third quarter. Brisbane Lions 5-1, 31 points to Collingwood's 2-0-12. Third quarter time at the Gabba. Really great win there by... Oh, my. What a beautiful combo. And that's something special. Barry is being... He's actually carrying this team. I haven't seen much of Lockie Neal. I haven't seen much of Dunks. And Zach Bailey has an opportunity now for his first. And he slots the goal. Zach Bailey gets on the score sheet after Zorko scores five. Good stuff, Bailey. Big bad Bazza. All right. 37-12 now, and we seem to be running away with it. Look, Barry, man, look at this. He's found a target again, and it's Bailey. Plays it off quickly. This is this must be Joe. Oh, wow, sticks it into row Z, and the Brisbane Lions score two goals back-to-back. -back. That must be Joe. Was it Joe? I, I actually couldn't tell. It was only side on there. All right, and we go again with the bounce. Big O, unfortunately, loses that one. It's interesting that um, you don't actually need to win every single ruck contest as long as you get the football off it. Like, I saw some stat that it's like, there's like some correlation. It's like you don't, some like teams actually don't want to win the ruck contest because <laughs> they want to try and recycle the football. That was a terrible sort of sloppy goal there. We let Culling, we get one back there. But uh, so far, really enjoyed. Oh my God, Barry, look at this. Okay, find Zorko somehow. He goes for number six. I actually wanted to test that. Oh, so it does still work. So back in AFL uh, Evo 2, when you're in around about sort of the 10, 20, 30 meter mark, if you just press A on your controller and go for the quick set shot, it's like nine times out of 10 going to score. I wanted to try like the normal set shot, but um, it seems pretty accurate. So we might need to do more of that just to speed things up. But... um. Unless Colin would get one back here, we're just going to be trying to outscore them more than anything. But I haven't touched the game plan. It's all still unbalanced. Also went with the auto list as well. Because, look, we'll, we'll, we'll go into settings. Um, but I want to sort of see how the team performs. There's a terrible kick there. Um, like, there's no point of trying to change all the settings if you're winning every match. <laughs> I also sort of want to see how the gameplay sort of plays out. And then I could sort of analyze and change things. But so far, I'm really quite happy with this auto list. I think Brisbane's has got a really solid list anyway. We've got a nice mixture of tools and small forwards. That was terrible there. We haven't seen much pressure on our defense, though. I'm surprised Collingwood haven't been hunting that much. Oh, that's terrible from Coleman. Oh. I, 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 I don't know what it is, but something changes. Like, when you go forward in the mid... Like, going forward, the ball seems more accurate. I, I've been constantly sort of getting it back there. Who was that? Probably Meyer check potentially. That's another thing as well. No, it's not. All right, Colling would get one back from a sloppy bit of defence. So so far, I seem a lot better going forward than in the defence. So if I can sort of outscore the competition, that'd be great. And once again, just need to find Barry. I think that's probably holding the ball. No, it's a ball up. Okay. But so far, Brisbane. Look more likely to win this one as Barry picks up the ball again. Awkward handball, sidewood. And I was actually trying to go for goal there, but it's hit it out for on the full. Oh, that's a really good mark there by Lockie. Haven't seen much of you in this match, but I'd be curious to know your stats. Sometimes as well, although like you get the disposals, you don't really see that third player, the fourth player that gets the assist. But um, I would say Barry has probably been my man of the match. So, far. Oh, it's hard to not give it to Zorko when he scored so many, to be fair. Haven't seen much of McCluggage. Zorko again, though. Oh, what a grab. And it seems like players with fantastic intercept marks are probably going to be ones to look out for. Wouldn't mind trying out Ultimate Team, Pro Team. But obviously, there's going to be daily episodes of this Brisbane Lion career campaign. As Zorko gets another. Also, maybe Colin would have rotated their list a bit with their youngsters while we've gone with a first team to test things out. So, Collingwood getting absolutely smashed here at the Gabba. 
And we might get another one before the fourth quarter. And Zorko goes back again with the set shot now. Oh, my. Is that number six? Is that number seven? I've lost count. What? That is uh, something special there by Zorko in this match. What a finish. Barry picks it up again. And drills it. Yeah, going straight down the middle seems to be working incredibly well for us. Right down the corridor. Putting things under the wings doesn't seem to be working. Alright, interesting ball in. Okay, nice. 61-24 as we go into the fourth quarter. It's going to be pretty hard for them to come back. It actually says balance there on the balls, uh, boards. Which is interesting. The boars. <laughs> All right, let's go. Another bounce. Nice tap on. Lost possession. Side bottom. Ball in. Collingwood have just looked an absolute shadow of themselves. And Brisbane just going straight down the corridor. Seems to be working the best. We've even got a lot more numbers here, though. Nice little flick on. Danaher. Big Joe. All right. He's a little bit far out. Now, I'm curious to see how he's going to be having a crack at this one. The left footer. Because Zorko was a lot better. Oh, it looked all right, and then it phew, fizzed off. Oh, wow, Bailey. Okay. Um, now, okay, yeah, so you can't do it on that much of an angle. That play on. I was just more testing than anything. Rainer, haven't seen much of him either. Uh, let's have a crack with Rainer here now. So... We've also got a lot of good players that can kick goals. Oh, look at that. Beautiful off the boot there. That's a magnificent goal from Cam Rayner. In real life, he's looked like one of Brisbane's best forwards. Up there with Charlie Cam. Charlie, where's Charlie been? <laughs> I haven't seen Charlie in this match. Nice. Lions now picks it up. Finds Bailey. No, it's Jack, actually. And we'll go with the set shot with Jack Gunston. Really good pickup. Would have liked him a couple of years ago, to be honest, but at least he's at the club now. Jack steps up. Oh, that's terrible by him. Oh. All right. So we can be a little bit prone to the wayward shot here and there. But 68-24... Really, really good effort by the boys. Collingwood. Seem like they're trying to go to the wing to find something different, and Rich goes forward. The Viking. The descendant of Ragnar Luthbrook. <laughs> Fires it at him, and we'll let Joe have another shot here to try and redeem himself. Maybe we'll go for a... Is that a torp? Yeah, I haven't even tried any other the any other the shots. Um... I'm old school. I like the drop part. <laughs> Joe doing Joe things by the look of it. I've never known a player to be so good and whiff so much. <laughs> it's a, a love-hate relationship with Joe Danaher. <laughs> I like him a lot. I think he's great. No nonsense. All right. I do feel like the media goes on doing way too much, so that's a really good kick. And finds Bailey in the forward 50. Plays on quickly. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that so when it's about 30 meters out, right, you actually don't need to um, waste the animation. You can just sort of play on like that. Yeah, pressing A, you like power up. Okay. Seemed to get like a really accurate shot on. But uh, so far, now that I've... Got two quarters under my belt. I can sort of... I'm finding the rhythm. I'm finding it... I'm finding it well. But I'm happy that I put it on the hardest difficulty because... If this is it... I don't know. We're going to have to see how we go. Oh, we might be able to do a, um, a different type of shot here. So Jack actually missed the drop pump before. So let's go with the snap and we'll see how we go. So Jack Gunston around the body. Nice. Okay, that's kind of cool. 86 now, but where's Collingwood been in this match? I feel like our intercept marks have been fantastic. Every time we go forward, we've been lethal. We've been clinical. 
And we go again. I think McInerney as well in the ruck is kind of overpowered. <laughs> He's actually so good. He wins like every tap out nearly. Collingwood are a little bit funky in the ruck. And Charlie Cameron gets one back here. I'd love to have a shot with him. He's going to centralize this one to Zorko. And Zorko's going to have another shot. I, I, like I said, I've lost count. I think it's 7-8 or so. As Brisbane have an opportunity to make it 86-24. Oh, wow. Zorko is ridiculous in this game. And we're going to win this pre-season match. And hopefully... We're going to have the song as well. Siren goes. Brisbane win the first match of this career series in a preseason friendly. Massive. And let's go in and sing the song. I seriously can't wait. But uh, Collingwood, absolutely dumbfounded. They played a pretty strong team. I don't think they rotated too much. I think All right, here's the song. We are the pride of Brisbane town. We're Maroon. Blue and gold, hoo hoo, will always fight for victory, like Fitzroy and Bears of old. All for one, and one for all. Four lands to the goal. For the Lions, the Brisbane Lions, will kick the winning score. You'll hear a mighty roar. Hey, good on you, boys. <laughs> oh, I love that. There's Dugs. <laughs> all right. Game session established, and let's load in. Okay, it's doing a save. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. After all that, we've had a game crash. Well, at least it's a pre-season match. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Why has that happened? We are playing on the PC version, so maybe that's why. Oh, that's not good. All right, so we had a game crash. Uh, even though it seemed like it was saving after all that, um, that's really, really disappointing. So um, I guess it's only a pre-season match, so it doesn't matter that much. But um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Really, really upset about that. But um, anyway, let's move on to the second match of today's episode. We've got the first match of the season against Port Adelaide. Obviously, a match we lost in real life, and we want to try and correct that. So if, if there was some sort of momentum, like going in from that last match, like there's like an inform or, or fitness or something, I guess that's kind of devastating. But... um. Let's see how we go. Um, I'm quite happy with the team. Quite happy to leave it on balance. Um, look, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So I I'm quite happy with this list. But we're going to be going interstate, traveling to Adelaide for Port Adelaide versus Brisbane. I'm happy with the difficulty. I'm happy with the minutes as well. Um, okay, so we might need to change the uniforms. So we played in... I can't even remember what we played in. I think it was this one. Oh, so it doesn't automatically do it. You have to go and manually change it yourself. Uh, okay, I don't know about that. But Port Adelaide, a team, once again, going to be trying to break into that top four bracket and at least want to be making prelims. But let's get stuck into the Port Adelaide Magpies. I am, I mean power. <laughs> uh, I do remember when they were pitching, like, they could have been the Port Adelaide Pirates. <laughs> I actually don't mind... Uh, that one necessarily but here we go really want to stake a claim and get some really good form going in to this match and what we don't is we don't want to get dominated on the footy like we did in real life and, and see Horn Francis just absolutely ripping and, and tear up the footy field but this would be a really good test for us away on the trot not at home of course and we've really got to go out and show our stuff, show our mustard. So, yeah, 126 to 72 is what this match ended in real life. Port Adelaide won by a whopping 54 points. So, we want to try and correct that wrong. But um, I guess if we do lose, it might be realistic. But let me know. Um, players you'd like me to sign as well. There's going to be a bunch of free contract players eventually available. And where do you think the Brisbane Lions should strengthen next season and maybe the season season after also we've got some older players as well should we try and cash in on them but here we go so port adelaide wins the toss uh travis spoke going to the right of screen so let's get stuck into the prison bars and uh try and get a victory 
Lockie Neal, bringing it in. And uh, let's get ready to go. After a really good victory against Collingwood. We're going up against the real magpies. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I'm making funny. All right, let's go. McInerney in the ruck. Wins it. Oh, can Barry get onto the end of it? It's actually McCluggage. Drills it forward. Good mark. Zach Bailey somehow finds it. And an opportunity to have a set shot right in front of the River Bank stand. Bailey winds up. Puts it between the big sticks. Cool, calm and collected. Zach Bailey starts off the scoring for the Lions against the power. You beauty. And we go again. McInerney in the ruck. Wins it again. McCluggage gobbles this one up. And Gunston makes the lead from the forward. 50. Full forward. Plays on quick. And it's a great goal there. Oh, yeah. I wanted to test that with Jack because... I've had a little bit of wayward shots with him. But Gunston gets on the score sheet and Lucky Neal comes in to celebrate with him. Brisbane, pounce on the power. Two goal zip. Okay, we lose that ruck contest for the first time. Rich comes up. Trying to find Pal Pepper, I believe. He's looking to go forward. Interesting ball. Okay. Rioli, I think it was. Oh, was it? I think it is. He... Ah! Forward pressure there. Sloppy football in the end. And Port Adelaide come back in that one. Yeah, I think it was Rolly. Uh, brings it home as well. We go again. No, oh, nice win. McCluggage now seems to be the player we keep on finding. It was Barry last time. Neil. Oh, wow. What a turnaround there and a good mark in the end. Chips it forward. Yeah, just sort of trying to find the mark is just so overpowered in this game already. Just wait for the lead and go for it. Zorko, good mark. He might actually have a crack from here. Brisbane seem a little bit more better out of the middle. Zorko winds up. That's a brilliant kick from Zorko. What an absolute blinder for the Lions. And Brisbane lead, increasing it a little bit more. Good job, Zorko. Yeah, his set shots are ridiculous. That is uh, fantastic. All right, let's keep on keeping on. We might be able to go two and zip. McInerney wins it again. McCluggage. Yeah, whoever seems to be just winning that. Going straight down the middle seems to be working. Not wasting time and faffing about going on the wings. Just straight down the channel. Seems to be working for us. High risk, high reward. Yeah, that's a great mark there by Barry. My midfield is sick at the moment. Oh, it's a terrible pass from him. Barry trying to find a target again. Finds Zorko this time. Zorko going back with another. Goes forward and slots it as well. Yeah, I think that's better doing that if we can. Just to speed things up. We don't really need to take every single set shot. Seems to put more animations in as well though. But Zorko loving his life at the Lions. The 30-year-old. Oh, go on. McCluggage now wins that. Bailey finds it this time. Oh, we, we, we've got an opportunity to put five back here. And we have as well. Oh, is it going to go over? Oh, it has. <laughs> I nearly didn't think it didn't. That is absolutely spectacular by Bailey. Goes back. Nearly didn't make it over the line. But it somehow dribbled on over. Brisbane 30 in the first quarter. Would you believe it? Neil wins this one. I feel like when you slot a couple goals as well, it really smashes the morale of the uh, enemy team here. And the power go forward. Chipping it around weirdly, to be honest. Actually drilling it home. They centralize it. They get a goal back. I couldn't tell who that one was. Was that Wines? It was. I was like, oh, it could have been Horn Francis. But Ollie Wines gets his name on the score sheet. With an interesting looking goal. Brisbane lose the midfield battle narrowly there. Ball in. Good stuff. Rich now with an opportunity. Okay, good mark. Nice. Danaher finds Zorko. Nearly doesn't seem like they're 
they're watching the run. I, I don't know what it is. Why are we finding so much space? Also, I do feel like our kicking is like S tier. Like, look at that. <laughs> We're not even going to miss on an angle like that. Um, what a strike. A stick of dynamite off the boot there by Zorko. Six goals in the first quarter. McCluggage now looking the better in midfield. Look at that, just drilling it forward there. And once again, I know Brisbane are good with the contested mark, but geez, I didn't know we were this good. Seven goals in the first quarter. 42 points. The power, ironically, shell-shocked. <laughs> and um, the Adelaide Oval as well. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to run out of time. But that's it. 42-12, quarter time. Brisbane go in. The power. Trying to figure out exactly what they're doing wrong. And um, I, I don't know who this Lex Luthor character is. I don't know what happened to Chris Fagan. Is that meant to be me? I don't know. <laughs> there wasn't a character creation or anything. Anyway, ball up and we go again. Barry wins it now. Chips it forward to Bailey. And he has another opportunity. He scored a couple here today. I wish there was a like a, an overlay to see. What? That's what I'm talking about. It's like these intercept marks are ridiculous, man. Eight goals. Depending on how much we win by, I might need to try and investigate um, up in the difficulty because this is um, if this is the hardest difficulty, it's kind of ridiculously easy. Like, I'm not the best AFL player, but I've played AFL EVA quite a bit. I feel like the controls are pretty much the same. There's a couple of little weird things. But, like, with that play on stuff, look at this. Like, the, to be fair, maybe Brisbane are just too good. <laughs> they're, they're probably, like, one of the best teams. I wonder if I would be having much of a harder time with if I was playing with someone a little bit lower down the ladder. Would I be having sort of the same results? Wait, advantage? No, I don't want advantage. Oh, far out. It's nearly just like my brain farts that they seem to be scoring. They don't seem to be creating anything that crazy. All right, here we go. Power. Plenty of options on the turnaround. How did they miss that, though? All right. Rich now. I think this is our first kick out, to be honest. Yeah, it's like just like playing kick to kick seems to be so overpowered in this game. Yeah, maybe I need to look into making it diff harder. But I don't know, we are Brisbane, so maybe it's realistic. I don't want it to be too easy to the point that it's boring. But I, uh, hey, as a Brisbane supporter, I love to see all these goals going in. <laughs> Alright, ball in. Okay, what a sloppy point. I, yeah, I do think there's like... A, I, I, the, I feel momentum, like playing this now. There's definitely a thing. But it looks pretty good on um, PC. I'm not even going to lie. McInerney wins that one. Barry now. Going forward. Yeah, I can't find a target, unfortunately, for that one. McCluggage stands on the mark. Half time. Brisbane massively leading. Starsevich with the interception. McInerney, the big O, wins it. Trying to find a teammate in the 50. Brings it in. Bailey goes for it. It's a scramble there. And for some reason, they went back. The power. A little bit risky doing that. As Rayner gets the interception. Still a minute left of play. Rayner finds Gunston with the grab. And Jack, the former Adelaide boy, would love scoring against the power. Obviously playing for the Crows early in his career. Great goal. 60-13. We might actually break 100 points. How ridiculous would that be in our first match? Brisbane look red-hot flag favourites as Zorka gets the ball. And no one's in the goal square. Is it going to bounce and go all over? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's it as well. We actually are scoring a lot more within the allotted time because we can play on so quickly. Back to the centre square. We go again. Power, just getting absolutely outrun. Yeah, like, I don't even know what I would change. The game plan seems to be working on balance. The list is incredibly strong. We don't need to, like, put, like, Fort, Danaher, and, and, uh, 
let's say, like, Gunston, all our tools in, because we're not winning the football there. I think, like, the intercept mark is just the best at the moment, because we're about to go 70 points up. Half time. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable scenes here at Adelaide Oval. And I would say at half time, if we're leading by this, there's going to be an absolute mass exodus. Koshi tearing his hair out. Furious with the uh, performance of the boys. Might be able to get something back here now, though, the power. And they do. But they've got a pretty strong list as well. Butters. Dersma. Rosie. Obviously a huge rivalry um, as well back in the day. They actually won a premiership against us in the early 2000s. Yeah, I, I do think that there's a Collingwood and the power. I do have a really... Yeah, I don't know if I like the power. There's a bit of a grudge between these two. As we go into half time, uh, massive, massive result for round one. What an outstanding statement. I just wish it happened in real life. <laughs> Here we go again. McInerney in the ruck. Uh, exhausted is the word that comes to mind for him. Power getting... A, oh, I was going to say, they might be getting something back here, but... No, Rich. Oh, Rich. Found Coleman, though, but... Should have been a bit better. Uh, Lockie wins that one. Good handball. Yeah, I have to power up the handball. Oh, my God, what a nice running kick. Bailey trying to pick up the crumbs. Goes in for the tackle. Uh, footy gets dropped. Oh, they still do that standing still thing, which is annoying. Oh, Barry, you beauty. Barry and McCluggage seem to be like one of my favourite players in this. Jack wins it, and Zorko, of course. Haven't seen much of Lockie or or Dunks. Zorko, can we go with the dribbler? In an open goal square, and he does. <laughs> Haven't brought out the dribbler, because most of the goals have been either set shots and mark-to-mark -mark kicks. There hasn't been a, that much run in an open play. 1378. Brisbane pumping the power. And McCluggage wins that one there. Ball in. Jack Gunston wins it. Okay. And bang. Good stuff. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> You'd nearly give up on this match, I think. If you were a Port Adelaide supporter. Oh, Gardner. Nearly gave it up. Oh, don't be doing that. Andrews. I was going to say, we haven't seen much of Andrews. I think that's a good thing. Like, we don't need to whip him forward if we're in an emergency. If we did see a lot of him, we probably wouldn't be doing the best. Oh, how's he got rid of that? Starsevich dropped, though, pretty quickly. And it's going to be a ball up. But, um... I might need to edit down the episodes over the next couple. Like, I think we're playing the game. We're going to sit down and, and, and f show full matches because you guys want to see the gameplay. You want to see how the AI sort of reacts. But once we get into the thick of it and the meat of the season, <clears throat> excuse me, we might make it more of a highlights, episodical stuff. You, you don't need to see me, like, whiffing those kicks then going backwards when I want to be going forward. <laughs> but, uh, so far, loving the game, except for that crash. Feels good. I'd be curious to know your thoughts and opinions. Lions finds Bailey, and we'll go back and take the shot. Bailey, oh, that's the wrist, though. Sometimes you can't get... Oh, my God. How have we recycled the football there with the big O? And... Jack... Goes back. Just need to wait a little bit more distance. I did it again. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I thought they actually nearly didn't go through. 90 points. I was, wasn't... I was watching with the... I wasn't watching where the ball was. The hitouts as well. Yeah, just going for our direction. Come on, win that. No way. I, I don't know what's going on with the marking. It's it's ridiculous. Like, we shouldn't have won that. Um, 96. We are just destroying, uh, decimating the Port Adelaide power. And we go again here. McCluggage finds Danaher. Rayner running in. 
Oh, nice bit of space running open goal. 102 points as Cam Rayner breaks the big 100. And Port Adelaide trail by 80 or so points. And it could be more. We've still got another quarter of footy to play. And this is just child's play at the moment. Brisbane having a purple patch out on the oval. And Jack Gunston bins another. We go again. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. This Brisbane team is um, looking really, really good. Yeah, I think my prediction's right. I think like a top four finish. Definitely want to try and get to the grand final. But um, we'll have to see how we go as we go into three-quarter time with a massive lead. All right, fourth quarter now. It says three minutes, but I feel like these matches are going on for a lot longer. Is it just me? Barry wins that. Nice. I haven't seen much of um, Ashcroft, but uh, he'll develop into a quality player as Bailey just goes back there and slots another. Uh, power. The power can't stop the tide of the Brisbane Lions as they're coring, causing mayhem. They're on the loose in the Adelaide Oval. As we might score 20 goals here today. Zero behind. Yeah, I feel like our kicking is really overpowered. But, um, unfortunately, Pro Team uh, wasn't available from the get-go. I don't know why. I was interested in sort of looking and playing at that, but... We'll see how we go. Rainer. Pretty far out. Goes back, though. He's got it. Oh, my God. 120 points. Look at that, even. And we have just blown away the power. That has massively helped our percentage. That's huge, actually. Uh, we'll go in and play every single team once as well, at least, by the way. Have a look at the rosters. The power do come back here, but it's just not going to be enough. A little bit of a lapse in concentration there from the Lions. But we are just absolutely running through them. It is total football, this one. Nice. Alright, the power might be itching back here. Trying to show some face. Ainsworth just outruns him. Charlie Cameron somehow wins it on a three-mark contest. Ridiculous. There we go again. Nice. Rayner. Has options forward. Trying to find McCluggage. Can't. The handball gets a little bit sloppy. And the power now going on the rebound. Lions trying to find it. Power looking good here. In the dying embers of the match. They're trying to show a bit of resurgence. They do get another one back here. It's just mathematically not enough. They haven't got enough time. Why are you celebrating like that? When you're getting absolutely pumped. 25 goals in this match, though. From the neutral perspective, loving it. Uh, that was nearly high there. Not 15 play on. Bailey. Oh, somehow finds it as well. And goes back and gets another. Dude, Bailey. You beauty. Let's go again. Barry. Bang. Bailey. Good mark. Bailey. Bang. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, McInerney. Finds Charlie Cameron. <laughs> we haven't seen him. Back in the Adelaide Oval. The former Crow. Got a couple of former Crows in the list. Cool, calm, and collected. First goal of the series. Charlie Cameron smacks it through the big sticks. You beauty. Oh, what a clinical finish by Charlie Cameron. Doesn't rip out the motorbike. I would have loved to see it, though. Look at that. You beauty. 132.
Here we go again. Oh, Danaher. Come on. Nice. Oh my god, we're just going to play on. <laughs> Bailey. Oh, wow. It's like that uh, North Melbourne game. Absolutely pumping them. Port Adelaide should be doing so, so much more better than this. And we're just like running away with it now. Go on, someone get on to the end of that. Rainer. Good grab. Uh, go on, Barry. Go for the go for goal. Uh, pinged it to the square. Couldn't find anyone. But uh, that's going to be it. 138. 31. Brisbane Lions. Winning by well over 100 points. I don't know what to say. Game, set, match. An outstanding performance from the Brisbane boys. And we got to sing the song again for two matches in a row. Round one, Brisbane win. A glorious victory against the Power, who just really didn't look up for it at all, to be quite frank. But uh, what a superb, glorious victory from the Lions. Oh, I'm so, so happy. Massive momentum. Planning our flag. So we're going to load in again out of this now. Yeah, so career sharing session established. I don't understand what that is. Oh, no. I'm going to lose my mind. It crashed again. No way. Okay, so I loaded back. Um, yeah. Um, I'm very upset. I'm furious. This is unacceptable. I know it's the PC version of FIFA, uh, AFL 23, but um, it shouldn't be doing that. Uh, I don't look, look. I don't mind the occasional game crash if it's like a preseason, but after spending 20 minutes beating the power by such a, an amount like that, um, I feel like there's a bug on Steam or something, um, which is incredibly annoying. So what is? So what does it say? Sharing session of step. It's like saving, but it's like not. It's like I feel like it's cloud saving and not hard saving for some reason. For some reason, you can't save the game in this. I don't know why. Like manually, it's like to stop save scumming. Um, I guess. Um, but um, yeah, that's not good. Um, I might have to wait a little bit before episode two, but um, we'll see how we go. So stay tuned for episode two of this AFL Brisbane Lions management career mode. Maybe there's going to be a day one patch that hasn't come out either just yet. And we'll play against the Melbourne Football Club. So we have to sim that just then. Um, it's really going to affect our percentage points. Um, and the players' growth and stuff. But we did manage to win the sim, 43-40. So we still won the match, technically. We just didn't win it by as much as a margin as we we actually did. Um, it, like, when the game ends, it should end. I, I, maybe it's just, it seems like they bug on the cutscenes. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Unfortunately, I'm going to end things here on that note. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more AFL 23 content coming out soon. More career modes, uh, more online content, and more of this Brisbane series. And over the coming weeks and months, I definitely want to be playing more teams as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. And make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.